Hi, my name's Sharon. I'm making this tutorial for my friend Angie because I made a CV for her and she's never used Inkscape before and she needs to know how to edit the text. Okay, so right now I've opened Inkscape. You see a blank document here. We're going to open the file that I already created. I changed all of the information so none of her personal information is going to be on the internet. So you're going to go to File and then Open. I can do open recent since I opened it recently. It's called tutorial. So now here we have the open file. We don't have anything selected or anything yet. So if you want to make everything smaller, you're going to hit minus and that'll make it smaller so you can view the whole thing or you can press plus to zoom in. Okay. This is about a good size for what we want to work with. And, uh, so I'm just going to center it here. You can click on any of the text. Make sure that the arrow is selected on the left. So here I can click any of the text boxes that I've already created. So if you want to edit the text here, you just click on it. You click the A on the left and you'll see a blinking cursor. I can select and I hit backspace to delete and or if you don't want to delete the text obviously you can just start typing okay so I'm just gonna delete that and then so that's how you type and edit text if you want to create text where there isn't any text then you're gonna make sure that the A is selected here you can click like let's say we want to put something here and write page one Okay, so that created a new text box, and if you want to change the font, you just select the text, and you go to the font you want, pick it from the drop-down list. Okay, pick Tigger, and then you select the size, make it nice and big so you can see it. Okay, and then it's gone a little bit off the page, so we're going to get the arrow again, and we can drag the text okay and if you want to select like here you'll see that I have a bunch of different uh, text boxes and also some little dots which are images so it would be a pain to select them all at once so what you do is you make sure the arrow is selected and then you click outside drag a box around everything. Once you have everything you want to select, you let go of the mouse uh, button and then you have everything selected and you can move it all together at once. Um, or if you just want to move some things, then you can press the control key, hold it down, click on one thing, click on another thing. Oops, sorry. I forgot on Inkscape it's I think it's shift so you hold down shift click on one thing click on another thing and now you've selected whichever things you want you can click as many as you want so say I want to move these three you let go of the shift key and now they're selected and you can drag them just like you did with the other ones okay and if you want to change the color of the text you can click on it and you'll see at the bottom it's kind of cut off from the screen you can click on different colors change it to whatever you want if you don't like any of the chosen colors uh, below the bar you'll see where it says fill you double click that I can't do it because I can't see it on my screen and it'll let you choose from a color wheel and well actually hang on let me just drag that up a bit whoops I lost the screen okay so if I drag that up a bit see where it says fill you Sorry, double click here and then a wheel pops up. You can click anywhere on that and see the text is changing color. You can go from lighter to darker to less saturated and you can also change the color by dragging along this bar to lighter and more bright. Um, if you want to give it a border you can go to stroke see it has no border you click on the full color and you can add a color border here and there you go make it a color border and if you want to make it thicker you go to stroke style and make the width 
larger. See now it's getting thicker. You can make it smaller. Okay. And I created this graphic here. Um, I think I have it grouped, so I have to ungroup it. And you can click on one of them, right click and go to fill and stroke. And you'll see here, you can change the color. So say you want it purple, and then the other one is blue. So if you want to change the color of that one, right click, fill and stroke, and you can make it yellow and see it automatically whatever whatever two colors you choose they intersect in the middle to create a new color so if you wanted to change the colors of that I think that's pretty much everything and then when you're done you're gonna go to file save as and save it as an SVG so that in case you need to make any changes in the future so you just name it whatever you want I name mine tutorial dot SVG and then you go to save okay it says do I want to replace it because I already have one by that name we we'll say yes replace it okay and then if you want to send it to somebody uh, or have it print properly without having any problems on any computer then you're gonna to go to file save as and then you're gonna select PDF. You can again choose the name or just name it the same thing. Save. And then pretty much you keep everything here the same except for uh, export area is page. You're going to click that and click OK. And then you'll have a PDF file. So if I want to open that in here, you go to tutorial PDF. Okay. Let's see, that's what the PDF looks like. Oh wait, I opened it. Sorry, I opened it in the wrong program. <sighs> you have to bear with me. This is my first time making a tutorial. I'm not really that great at it. Okay, so I'm going to open it with Document Viewer. That should work better. And then there you can see the crazy uh, PDF that we created. Okay, so I hope that answers all your questions. If not, then just send me an email. For the rest of you, leave a comment and I'll try to make a new tutorial or answer in the comments. Thank you.